Hashtag makeup free. Lies. Lies. Hello, I hope everybody's quarantine is going swimmingly. Um, I hope I'm not alone in this, but I low-key thought I was gonna emerge from this quarantine looking snatched. I thought I was gonna emerge with like the glowing skin of a greased seal. Uh, I didn't, didn't love that. Okay, not what I meant. I thought my skin was gonna look amazing because I haven't been wearing makeup and I've been like masking and self care and all the things. Boy oh boy, did the universe have have other plans. I mean, I don't want to jinx anything because things could always be worse, but I had a horrible breakout in the beginning of quarantine and I'm just kind of starting to see clearer skin. It's clearing up, but it's still pretty, you know, not great. And even though it's not the biggest deal because I'm just stuck in my house and no one has the opportunity to be offended by my face, it still is a blow to the ego, you know? Ooh. <laughs> And I've actually found that I have had a lot of face-to-face -face interaction. I am on Zoom calls, FaceTiming my friends, and house party, which is lucky super fun. But yeah, it's kind of been an issue because it's not like I can completely hide from everyone because I'm breaking out like that's so lame. Okay, rude. So this is my no makeup makeup routine that I have been doing when I need a confidence boost because my skin is such garbage right now. It truly takes an ungodly amount of products to make it look like I'm naturally decent looking. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome to my bare face. The white shirt was a bold choice. First, I'm gonna apply a thin layer of the MAC Face and Body just to even out my skin tone. If you've ever used this and hated it, you have to like warm it up in your hands for a good 20 to 30 seconds. Just rub it together until you feel it like getting stickier and then apply it to your face. I remember the first time I applied it, I tried to use it as a normal foundation and it's just not. That probably looked like nothing happened, but then I'm doing a second layer of the MAC face and body and mix some of the Dior face and body. The Dior has a bit more coverage, so that's kind of what I'm obviously needing. <laughs> I feel so insecure. It's brave season, y'all. I wanna mention, avoid your nose if you wanna look like you're not wearing makeup because product builds up here and here because you like move your face. <laughs> so you really wanna avoid having a bunch of product there. Don't neglect your neck. <laughs> what is it? What's the Wu-Tang Clan thing? Protect your neck. This isn't sunscreen though, so that makes no sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm wearing a white shirt. Throughout this whole process, I really wanna try to maintain my skin's texture. And so I'm just gonna go with a damp sponge and just like lightly press in, but also like take away any excess. Cause I really, really wanna make it look like it's my real skin. I also wanna like take away excess product like right in the center of my face. It's like an eraser. <laughs> Next I'm gonna use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector to brighten up my under eyes. If this was a normal kind of full face, I wouldn't really care how much uh, of this I would use because I would just go in with like a full coverage concealer, but I wanna do just like the thinnest layers I can get away with so I still maintain my skin's texture. By skin texture, I mean like not flawless looking. Like I want you to be able to see pores and see things just like a little better looking. And then I'm gonna go over the corrector with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I don't love this concealer for everyday wear. It's really good if I need something to just like throw on and leave, but it doesn't stay very well throughout the day. Like usually I would use a shade lighter to brighten, but I don't wanna do too much changing of my face. I am literally trying to get away with the facade that I'm not wearing makeup. <laughs> Then I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer to spot conceal. This is where it gets interesting. I don't wanna cover all of my blemishes, but I do wanna take away the redness to look like I don't have perfect skin because I don't have perfect skin. <laughs> that is clear. <laughs> we have established that. Use the warmth of my finger to seamlessly blend it in. And unfortunately I'm breaking out on my cheeks, which is really annoying. The chin is the easiest to cover up in my opinion. I like to highlight my cheeks. I like to put blush on my cheeks. And I think that draws a lot of attention to it. So it's really annoying whenever you're breaking out on your cheeks. Cause like, that's where I want to put 
makeup, but it's just gonna emphasize the texture in a bad way. Cause remember I was saying skin texture? Yeah, I don't know how to explain that. We're just gonna move on. I'm just gonna run a bit of this powder through my brows because I don't want the eyebrow product slipping and sliding all over the place. Dude, I should get a slip and slide. How much is, how much is a slip and slide? Wait, I need to, sorry makeup, something more important has come up. It's only 20 bucks. I don't think these have improved at all though. I was hoping that the technology would have improved over the years, but it looks like it's pretty much the same. Like I don't think I've had a slip inside for more than two weeks cause it's always broke. What are we doing? Okay, eyebrows. So I'm using the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint, but normally when I do my eyebrows, I do the old measure for like the most flattering for my face. But um, because I'm trying to look, there's a fluffy. <laughs> Because I'm trying to make it look really natural, I'm gonna just keep my natural, like, non-existent arch. See, they're pretty straight, I think. And then I'm finishing it off with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. I have the shade Dutch, because I like these lighter. Like, I realize that I have dark brown hair, but if I use the, like, black ones, they look like I've run mascara through my brows and it looks really bad. <laughs> I'm dropping everything, okay. I have a thing about doing my eyebrows really early on because your eyebrows shape your face and so I wanna kind of do my makeup around that. I'm gonna kind of go ham with this cream bronzer. I think it brings a lot of life to your face. I wanna do kind of like a W, so like the bronzer should hit down here, up the bridge of the nose and then back. Cause that looks like you've gotten sun damage, really. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Living Luminizer first just to kind of like bring more of like a sweaty look. And then I'm using the Lunar just on like a little bit on the tops of my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose. I realize this is for your eyeballs, but I can't be managed, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely looking dewy, <laughs> that's for sure. I wanna keep the blush really, really light because like I said before, I am breaking out a bit on my cheeks. And so I don't wanna bring attention to that redness at all. I'm using Milk's Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand to warm it up. And then with my middle and ring finger, dabbing some of that and just with like the lightest pressure and bringing it over my nose to once again, look like I got sunburnt. <laughs> Cause that's really what we're going for. Then while we're here, I guess, I wanna mix this and the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek in the shade Haven. This actually smells really good. The original one I have, that's like the big version, smells like Play-Doh. And I'm gonna go over that with the nude sticks. Ooh, did I just get, no, oh, we're good. I thought I got my blush hand on my shirt. This is like a big deal. If I, if I make it through this without getting anything on this white shirt, I'm gonna be very impressed with myself. That is adulthood. Moving on to the eyeballs. I'm gonna use these Laura Mercier Caviar eye sticks. First I'm using Unnatural. I hate when they use French words cause I get so nervous about the pronunciation. So I wanna look straight ahead and just wear my natural, what is that called? Fold? Eye fold? <laughs> what is this called? <laughs> crease, crease, oh my God. Okay, just for my natural creases, I wanna just kind of line on both sides, just at the very top. This is a weird sensation. I don't know if I love this. Then layer the caramel on the outer half of the crease. I'm so glad I figured out what that word was because I was bugging the crap out of me. And then Again, at like the outer V with the caramel to give some definition. And then I'm just gonna blend that out a bit with my finger. Dude, okay, so you know how Elon Musk named his child? It's actually, it's X Ash Archangel or whatever. And you know what that says about him? He's rich because that is only something someone super wealthy can do. It's basically just like a middle finger to the world of like, I can do whatever I want. Like naming my son something completely ridiculous. And I know people are saying that, oh, he's gonna have such a rough time in middle school. No, he's not. He's the son 
of a tech billionaire. He was born into the three comma club. Like, he'll be fine. Like, if having a bit of a strange name is gonna be his only hardship, like, that doesn't seem that bad. Bet you anything he'll go by Ash, which is actually like a cool name. He's probably gonna be like the coolest kid ever. <laughs> So I am looking a little more dewy than I think I want to. So I'm just gonna powder it, which is like the smallest amount of powder in the center of my face to look a little less greasy. <laughs> I really wanna keep that dew. I just don't wanna look like crazy sweaty. So I'm gonna use the Tom Ford bronzer again with a small little eyeshadow brush and go under my eyes to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and also under my bottom lip to kind of contour. So I'm gonna brush my eyelashes. Most days I'm not wearing mascara because I think that's like the number one giveaway that you're wearing makeup. But I do kind of want to put like really natural looking mascara. But first I'm gonna do a baby wing with some eyeshadow. So I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette. Just gonna run it like as close to my lash line as possible and then give like the smallest little wing. I find what's helpful for this is like hold the brush where you want the wing to go and look straight ahead. Cause I'm still trying to pull off that I'm not wearing makeup. And I'm just gonna use the lightest amount of mascara. I really want it to look like it's just my natural lashes. And like I've said before, I like to do this angle so you can really just like see every lash. Okay, and we're done. I mean, my hair is kind of making it look like I did just wake up. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm not wearing any makeup. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this bit of makeup gives you the confidence boost that it gives me. Please subscribe. That would be really, really helpful. And I'll see you later. Bye.